Hello and welcome back to Game Start. I'm your host, Bardic Knowledge, and uh, we were gonna see what was uh, over this way somewhere. Oh, that's right. Because I can't get up there without the double jump or reflectability or something. There, I at least completed all of that. So I need the ability to swim to get through there and there, or at least a double jump. So there's got to be something up there I can do, or over there. Aha! I have to hit the statue, not the torch. All right. The reason I'm going this way is because I'm fairly sure that uh, this teleporter is closer than the other one. Why do they stick around this castle? Well, I suppose there's plenty of carrion around the castle. Ooh, 50G out of that. I actually wonder if anything will happen if I keep sitting here, like how something happened when I uh, was sitting at the piano. I'll only do it for like 10 more seconds. Nope. Okay. Why is there no music? It's kind of weird. I don't know why it took me that long to notice that there was no music playing. There's music. Sinister Fay. Didn't I say I was going to go back to Ted? So I think he lives up there. I think I'll actually leave a mark there. That's where Ted lives. I think. Let's go find out. Hey, I was right. Todd, not Ted. You got a new hairstyle. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. While I do like it, I kind of prefer this one. So I'll stick with what I've got. Oh, sorry, T Todd. Not Ted, it's Todd. That might take me a while to swap. Uh, but I like my current hairstyle more than the new one.
Okay then. Who is this figure in the background? I don't have a way to get up there yet. I wonder if there is a flight. Oh, well, there's the gravity change. I suppose that's close. But I still wonder if there is a flight type thing, too. Oh yeah, over here. Where I can't do anything because I accidentally destroyed all of the stuff. There has to be a way to do it. So I'm pretty sure I don't have anything that lets me jump higher. And I just noticed I could have uh, done that. That's interesting. Do they just stay there? I suppose not if I unequip the technique, but, uh, hmm. Okay, so, I guess, I think I tried to go in, no, that's right, I need the war horse key, whatever that is, to get through that. Um, hmm. What was over there? I think I needed another key to get through that. Either that or I just turned around. So I'm gonna come back here. And the fastest way is with the teleporter. Not quite high enough. Wonder if it'll remember that map marker when I save and quit. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to the train and see if something's changed since I talked to Dominique. I wonder. Because the pixie... There was a secret with the pixie in Symphony of the Night where she would sit on your shoulder and sing. It's 
and neat. A little tuneless. I hope they have this version and the Japanese version on the soundtrack. That was neat. But I'm gonna stick with Ragna. I'll try Karabas some other time. I'm ignore that toad. I don't have to get close. Hmm. Just trying to see if there was something I could do up there. Oh hey, I didn't go through that door. Ooh, that was a my level up. Alright, let's pop into the save point, and then we'll explore the area that I apparently missed completely last time. So, where do we have here? That sounds like gears. Interesting. Ooh. Ah. Scythe Knight. I'm gonna presume that it's possible to jump through those things. Oh hey, a new hairstyle. I wanted to look in here. Nope, that didn't work. Guess maybe I need to double jump into that. Or fall down here. One of those things. Some hemp and oak. Yep, I do move around. This is our clock tower. Staple of any Egovania. Oh, I didn't even land on you. Oh, whoops. Huh, gone past the 15 minute mark. Sorry about that. So, uh, that's it for this episode, and I'll see you the next time on Game Start. Till the next.
Live well.